Hey what's up, Pixie here and today I will be showing you how to install OCaml on your Windows computer using WSL. WSL or the Windows Subsystem for Linux is a system that lets us install Linux programs and run Linux commands on our Windows computer. Now we won't go into how to set up WSL in this video because there are already countless tutorials on how to do that. I will recommend that you install WSL and install the Ubuntu operating system as that is the OS that we will be using in this video. I will put some links in the description that point to tutorials on how to do that. Great! So we are just going to launch our Ubuntu terminal by going to the start menu and we will just look for Ubuntu and we open it up. When Ubuntu opens, it presents us with this nice terminal that we can now use to run our Linux commands. So before installing anything, it's always advisable to update our package list and also upgrade all our Ubuntu programs to the latest version. So we can do that by running sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade and this should update, uh, you enter the password that you use when setting up your account and running these commands should upgrade and update all your programs so that we know that we're installing the latest version of everything. So when that is done, we now have to look for the install script of OCaml and we can do that by just going into our browser and opening OCaml.org. This should open the official OCaml website. Here I'll click on install and it gives us the installation page. Now on the installation page, it's going to show you the operating system that is default on your computer. I'm going to change this from Windows to Linux or Mac because we are going we want to install OCaml in WSL. So the first instruction is to install the OPAM package manager and in order for us to do that we need to ensure that GCC is installed build essential curl and zip and bubble wrap. So to do that I will just uh, reduce the size of my Ubuntu terminal here so you can see both sides. So to install these packages we'll just run sudo apt install and we write the names of the different libraries. So we have GCC, build, essential, curl, unzip, and bubble wrap. So I already have this installed and that is why it goes by pretty quickly. For you, you may have to press Y when the prompt asks you to do that so that you can then install all the packages. At this point, what we want to do is to copy this install script here on our camel.org website and we paste that on our Ubuntu terminal so we can and you press enter to run the install script. It gives us an error which says could not resolve host raw.githubusercontent.com and this is because when you first install our WSL it doesn't know how to resolve DNS addresses yet. So the way we solve that is we open the resolve.configuration file in our nano editor by running sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash resolve without an e dot conf and here we want to change our name server from 127.0.0 to 8.8.8.8 .8 to save that you press ctrl o press enter and then you press ctrl x and then we have to edit one more file by using sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash wsl dot conf and here we just want to add something else which is generate resolve with an e configuration i will set that to false we save again using ctrl o press enter control X and now if we run back our install script it should execute with no issue so it says it's downloading OPAM version 2.1.5 for Linux it says where should it be installed and the default is US, uh, forward slash USR forward slash local forward slash B I'll just press enter to accept that great so this is over now we go to step 2 for install process which is just to run the command opam init and when we run that it's going to ask us do you want opam to modify the profile we're going to take yes 
A hook can be added to OPAM's init scripts to ensure that the shell remains in sync with OPAM environment. I'll just take yes. And now OPAM has been initialized. To activate our OPAM switch, it's always helpful to first of all run the eval command. So we'll run eval, the dollar sign, OPAM, ENV, and we'll press enter. This is going to ensure that uh, all our changes are being baked into our terminal. Now we have to install some helpful OCaml packages that just helps you with uh, code navigation with your editor if it's VS Code, Vim or Emacs and just makes uh, programming in OCaml a much nicer experience. So we'll do that by running opam install. We have OCaml LSP server. It's a great one. We have ODoc for documentation. We have OCaml format for formatting your code and linting. And we have UTOP. So I will just install these different packages. Press Y to accept. Great. And if we want, we can also run eval opam env again. And to check that our installation is working fine, we can run the utop command. And it opens us with this nice uh, Rappler interface. And we can now begin to do, uh, can do like 2 plus 2. And it should give us integer 4. And so, ah, uh, we have successfully installed OCaml on our Windows computer using WSL. Thank you for watching and see you next time.